once again, just phenomenal stuff here at the World Championships. Whilst I was over at the 49 kilo session, which were crazy, we saw American records, we saw world records, just a crazy battle. Over here at the same time, Team China turned up, Chile turned up, and with Chile, that means the return of the highly anticipated Ali Mendez. Now, for those of you who don't remember, Ali won the World Championships in 2017 in that 85 kilo category. He beat Rustami, he snatched 175. Here, he's competing at 89, and he worked up 150, 170, I think he missed 170 once, made it, went up to 175, and hit it. Just unbelievable stuff, massive lift. I mean, that is like, that's a medal winning lift here in the 89s, just incredible stuff. Uh, as that was happening, Giga Chad, Liu Huanhua, the new Chinese 102, he moved up because it's an Olympic category of the 89s, is already congested for China with Li Dai-in and Tian Tao. He built up to a 210 kilo cleaning jack. It's actually pretty big. If you think about which other 102s are doing that, we saw Miso do it the other day. He built up to 102, uh, 210. Snatches though one looking great for Miso yesterday. But uh, Giga 210 looked probably just as comfortable pretty much. Um, maybe a little slower in the stand in the clean, but the jerk, like he hit that 230 or 235 the other day. So his, like anything overhead once he gets up with it is on lock. So I think he's still my pick for the 102 gold, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. The USA were also here, and we saw two pretty heavy sessions. The first from Olivia Reeves, the 71, who's going up against a stacked category. She snatched up to 105 kilos. She is so quick to warm up. Like, Team USA walk in, and everybody's rolling on the floor. This is no exaggeration, they're rolling, and she's at like 60 kilos, and then she snatched all the way up to 105. She clean and jerked up to 135. She basically has to beat Kate Vibert here. Uh, to try and move back ahead and, and reclaim that lead in the Olympic battle between them. Ryan Grimson, the 73. I, t I told him about some of the big lifts that were happening in like B and C sessions in the 73s. And uh, whether or not that spurred him on, I don't know, but he snatched 142 kilos, which is great. I actually think that might be the most we've seen in the snatch from someone who's competing at 73 here. And then he clean and jumped 182, which 400 pounds is massive. It's very big for him. Uh, obviously, we've seen some ridiculous cleaning jokes in that category, but he made it look pretty good. So I think that basically wraps up that day. When we came in this morning, uh, it was, well, it was Team China once again. The most exciting thing was definitely Shi Ziyong. Now, when he came in the other day, he snatched 140. We thought, okay, that's probably right around his max capabilities right now. He started off with some heavy snatch pulls or deadlifts. I don't know what to, but suddenly at least 200, maybe a bit more. And then he started snatching. And, you know, 50, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150. And then he put 160 on the bar and he smoked it. I mean, he's wearing straps, but I don't think that makes a massive difference for him. But let's not forget, I mean, he's only been training for a month or so. His best ever training snatch is 173. His world record's 169 and he's just snatched more than any other competing 73 or 81 here. Except for Bozadar did 165, but like, I mean, just unbelievable. So Xi Ziyong is in shape right now. The battle that we're gonna see in the coming months and years between him and uh, Rahmat are gonna be off the chart. I mean, Xi Ziyong is the strongest snatcher. Rahmat's a better cleaner jerk. Rahmat was there, he uh, did some front squats up to about 220 kilos for a few doubles. Uh, but back to Team China, we saw Wang Zhu Yu, the Olympic champion at 87, now at 81. She snatched up to 123 kilos. Lots of misses, lots of makes. Just That's her though, it's classic Wang Zhu Yu. She's so wobbly overhead, but she's just so powerful. Um, we saw some heavy box squats as well from Team China. Lasher turned up. Cheeky little 305 back squat for a double. Maybe a couple, no, just one double. Pretty heavy for him, that's the heaviest we'll see him go in the back squat for sure at this point. And then Team Egypt was here. We saw Karim, the 89, now 96. Super strong, 170 snatch for two singles, 210 clean and jerk. Neymar, who's the 71 from Egypt, the 64 world champ from 2021. Niche knowledge, direct from Nick Groot, the cameraman. <laughs> he, uh, she snatched 109. And then she clean and jerked 135, so she's in great shape as well. Uh, but all in all, it's been a pretty staggering day so far. Oh. 
Okay, one thing I can say for sure is that Bulgaria is back and they're unbelievable. I mean, what we just saw there, I'll go through it. We're having, we're having lunch and then the team walks in. And Andrea Bozidar, who's a 73-81, he builds up in the block snatch. His coach told me that his best ever is 175. I recall from years ago seeing him doing a 170. And then today, 130 double, jumps up 20 kilos. 150 double, jumps up to 160, hits it for a single. Jumps up to 170, there's 10 cameras on him. Weightlifting house has three of them. And he smokes it and he yells, he roars. Unbelievable. While that was happening, Christo Christoph builds up in the snatch, 180 kilos. 180 as well. Uh, we saw Carlos Nassar once again with the old sleeves on, belt under his shirt, and he builds up in the power snatch. He hit a 150 power snatch plus hang snatch. I mean, like, oh, I needed some front squats. I don't know what they were, something over 200, but just like, there was so much energy in that session, it was insane. I gotta go now. I say got to, I get to go now. Forte on the men's 61s. Lee Farbin, I'm sure you know what happens at this point. World record holder and everything. Let's see if he sets some more. So while I was over commentating on the men's 61s, which were amazing, something incredible happened here as well. So to kick off where we left off, Bozida Andreev, after doing that 170, then did a 205 kilo block clean with straps on. We then saw Team China turn up. Tian Tao did his like heavy clean and jerk session. You know, it's probably just under 90%. He worked up to 200 kilos. In my opinion, looked very easy. Like he's never one to make a jerk look totally comfortable, but the clean was fine. The jerk was very comfortable as well. As he did that, Liu Hua, who's probably weighing like 97 right now, he front got it up to 250. A little bit weaker than Tian in the legs, but so much stronger in the jerk, it's, it's really noticeable. The Armenians came in, we saw the 102s, Garrick, Karapetian, and Samuel Gasparian. They both worked up to 175. Samuel hit it for a snatch on the floor, and uh, Garrick hit it from the hang. But deciding because those 102s are definitely going to push Miso, who's behind us right now, and they're going to push Lu Hua. Should be a really big session that 102s. Salford Kranda had a heavy day as well. 111 in the snatches, and then I think the most impressive thing is she built up to 150 kilos in the clean and jerk. Now, like she won the European Championships with 153. 150 for a training lift, and you'll see it. I mean, that clean is super smooth. It looks like she can clean 160 for sure. Jerk, I mean, it, maybe it's wobbly a little bit, but it's not really. Like, it's just remarkably easy for her to be hitting that kind of way. So, just craziness from this session. And then at the competition, the 61s was just insane. My boy Sergio Masida, who I've been bigging up for a while with his amazing technique, he like shocked the world. Uh, unbelievable snatch into 137, put in a huge clean and jerk, total 302, that's the second biggest total that anyone has hit in qualification. That's more than Eko Yuli Irwan. I mean, of course, Lee Farbin, Olympic champion, he won the whole thing. But the shock, maybe not a shock, gold medal in the clean and jerk to Hampton Morris from the USA. I mean, it was a bit of a whirlwind that session, but I think the order was roughly where we thought it would be, but just kind of in a way that we didn't expect. So a whole lot of fun. <laughs>